Falling up the fathers. Yes, he did. Let's fall them up. Kill all of them. And I begin to read that the word got back to Jezebel. You go tell Elijah by tomorrow I'm going to have his life. Y'all tell me words don't hurt. Y'all sit up here talking about sticks and stone may break my bones, but words don't hurt me. You have to be very careful what type of words come to you when people want to see you down, when people don't want to see you prosper, when people don't want to see you come forth and they speak these things out of your mouth.
seen in that is when the angel stepped down in there. He messed up then. Jacob realized that there was an angel in there and he grabbed hope to it. So you, see, you, got to, you got to understand something. This is revelation here, baby. When you in prayer wrestling with your flesh and you trying to stay in there and mess right around and feel a break, feel a wind, feel some chill bumps, it's time right then to tap in and tell them, tell them, Lord, oh, did you want to stay on me? I'm going to keep praying until I get a prayer. I'm going to keep praying until I get a word. I'm going to keep praying. You can have a telephone in prayer. You can chat out with you this hour. Giving you that need to be unlocked. You think you bad. You, you think you bad because you can lay scriptures down. You can't nobody beat you preaching. You drive the best car. You, you bad. You preaching in this house here. You ain't bad until you get some anointed on you. Until the devil knows your address. He knows that you're coming. He knows. Can I put you this out there? He said, wait a minute. We got to, we got to get out of here. Uh, you don't hear what I'm talking to you. I, I got to go. I got to. Uh, you, ever, you ever been working on your job and they be sitting in a circle and when you walk in there, they say, oh, here you come. I got to go. I got to go. I got to go. I got to go. I got to get out of here. I can't sit here. I can't. With, with, with people that are not saved and they don't move and you just sit there. The reason why they ain't moving because you ain't been, you ain't got no no noise. You ain't the part of the right word. You must be gossiping. But if you go there the next day with a new attitude, with a new anointing, they'll walk away from you, baby. Sent a message. The Mordecai, Mordecai sent the message to Esther. This is what he told Esther. Don't think you're going to get away. Because you're in the king's house. You're a Jew too. And you know what she said? She said, all right. Send this word back. Tell all of my people to fast for me for three days. And after... The three days, right, right. I'm going to the king. And guess what? And if I perish, I'm just going to perish. Whatever it takes me to get to the king, and whatever I lose, I'm going to have to lose it. Oh, y'all missed that there. You see, everybody wants their anointed, but when they lose their house, they're ready to quit. Everybody wants their anointed, but when they lose their job, they're ready to quit. How can I put you there now? You ready? Don't mess with the anointing. If there's, if there's anything that you don't want shut the loose. I was reading, I was reading on Samson. Samson had no whoop. The Philistines so bad when the anointing come up on him. He whooped them so bad and took off in the top of the mountain. And they, they come up there, going by Samson, calling Samson. Samson, come down. Samson, come on down that we might buy you with these cars that we got. <laughs> Samson, why you, why you did that? Yeah. Why did you do that? He said, 